My name is Chloe. I live in Hounslow, okay? He's a rebel. I'll look up sometimes and I'm wondering where he's going. I live by myself, uh, apart from Boots and Sponge, my rats. Having to move nine times from the age of 14 just really made me feel like I didn't belong anywhere at all. Care homes to semi-independent to living by myself. Every time I moved, I wasn't given the chance to pack my own bags. Not even bags, they were thrown in dustbin bags. Two years ago, I lived in a storage space in a bus station. I knew as soon as I got there and I looked around, it was, it was actually devastating. Like, there's no windows. There's only one door. 95% of the time I lived in unnatural light and darkness. I 100% didn't feel safe at any point living there when I was asleep or even coming home from, say, college. I'd have to get home by five o'clock to feel at least a little bit safe. Living at the bus station, I saw drug gangs, fights. Every day, up and down the street, there's police cars, police vans, houses getting raided. The area around the bus station it's not clean, there's cockroaches. Black bags on corners, loading up the street. Sick on the floors, empty beer cans. Really impacted me, even still today. Meeting Nicola, my social worker, was probably one of the best things that's happened to me. She's introduced me to so many things. She helps me look for jobs and she's encouraged me with applying for university. She's introduced me to a girls group for care leavers. You could all have a place to go and speak to someone. When other people believe in you, that has a real big impact. You can go to university and you can get a job and you can live in your own flat. I think that programs are definitely important for people in care and leaving care. And there's a big stigma around care leavers and young people. There aren't many opportunities presented to us. My message to care leavers in today's society would be that you are important. Don't ever stop pushing for things that you know you deserve. <laughs>